Hey guys, it's me, Dad. Um, you know, I I had my fun. We had our fun here, and um, I think for now it's it's fun. It fun has been ended. I mean, you know, you you really can't expect to find anything out there freshly packed that good anymore. It's just not gonna happen. And um, there was something that this experience made me want to think about, right? Because it's like, hey, when you're getting a set booster, you're getting this much. When you get a collector booster pack, you could get this much or whatever, right? And you're spending, what, $150, $200, $100 on some box of cards for the chance it could be more than that, but it could also be like so much less, which is where something came into my mind. And that something is repacks. I have bought a repack from actually two different sellers. And what's interesting about this is this is going to be a bit more of a chill video. I'm going to go through these cards that apparently at least met the value. What they promised was when I bought this, the money I spent on these repacks, each of them, they said, hey, look, this is at least going to be the value you paid. It could be more. And you know, I find that interesting because I don't know what's in here. There's some, apparently some pretty rare potentially stuff in here, which is why I have the computer out. And we're going to be checking things live, I guess. And um, just kind of going to go through and look at some odd cards that might be kind of fun, right? So um, so this is, this is one of the repacks, and he said he included a special bonus. This is that special bonus right here. It is a... Uh, Foil land from Kamigawa, which I love. And then this is the repack. This guy, I got two. And there's a bonus in there, which I accidentally saw when I when I opened it up. Um, there's something actually on the other side of here. So let's do these repacks. I think first we'll do this one. And then this one, it's a bit more. So there's something on the other side of here. And we're about to see. It is a Thought Not Seer in Eldrazi. See, now here's, this is again... Just gonna be googling things a lot. So yeah, this is like a one-ish dollar card. Or wait, but it's a is it a foil? I guess we could take it out and look. No, it's not really a foil. No, but this one is. And these are these are still like two bucks. So okay, that's a neato card. Definitely an interesting card. You know, it's just like it's a little bonus on top. So here is the, apparently the value we're getting is in this series of cards right here. And to me, this was cool because I was like, you know, I'm not gonna, I wanna see like a variety of some random crazy rares. This is, to me is like a mystery booster collector pack in a sense, right? So let's see here, we got the Bishop of Rebirth. When it attacks, return creature card, mana value three or less, okay. Dragon Mace Master Outcast, that's pretty fun. Control six more lands, you put a dragon on the field. Whoa, unmoored ego. Whoa, card name, search graveyard. Okay, I have a barrel. I have more than enough barrels to go around, Donkey Kong barrels. The Maze Mind Tome. Never, see, so many of these cards I've, I'm, I'm never gonna have seen before. I've never seen this one. It's kind of fun. Goblin Rune Blaster. I don't know this little buddy, but that's kind of fun. He's a cutie from Zendikar. Oh, whoopsie. Alibon's Tower? What? <laughs> Homelands? This can't be rare, but whatever. Okay. Okay. Ooh. How funny. This is the actual Soren I bought. This is why I did this, man. It was like, but also, like, I just truly have that luck where I get stuff I already owned. Okay, a Hidetsugu, that's a, not really a rare, but it's okay. It's something. Darablaz, Ablieblabs, reincarnated. Um, okay, never heard of him. Oh, I don't have this one yet, but this is, or maybe I do, I don't think I do, but this is one that I've been looking forward to um, getting one one sometime. It's a cool one. <laughs> okay. 
Again, the card I have like the most copies of. How fucking funny. It's a ninth edition Seedborn Muse. Uh, I, I actually traded one of these. I had so many somehow. Well, I have two from my childhood and I got a Battlebond one. But okay, now I have another vintage one. Not too mad, I guess. That's, that's really funny that I'm getting co copies of cards I already own. I don't know this one, the Tithe Taker. Okay, that's kind of fun. And it's a 2019 promo card. Harsh Mentor. Okay. Fight through it. Okay, Kami Transients, not really a great card. Low key, sorry. Um, Rash Me Eternity's Crafter. I don't know this one really. Each turn reveal the top card of the library. Okay, I don't like those colors, so sad. Slight of Mind. <laughs> Look at that. Mark Poole, change the text of a Targus ball by replacing all occurrences of one word with another. Wow. Cannot change mana symbols. Cool. Resilient Kenra. Oh, it's the Goblin Raid Mother. <laughs> Ooh, that's so sick. And it's a foil in Tomb. I wanted it in Tomb, and I haven't gotten one. Now I have one. Look at me. Wow, that is awesome. What a great get. I'm happy to have that. Ooh. This is a good land. I want more of these lands. I think I was buying some of these, or maybe I did already. I can't remember, but happy to have one of these fast lands. That is so fucking funny. This is another fucking card I have two of but it, it, it it's a kind of a good one too that is so weird this i know this one's actually worth a bit what a random card to get a duplicate of from my collection but that's a cool one eldrazi mimic i don't know that one and life force is this look at that weird little alien baby one more is on the back but look at this weird alien baby and persist a classic Okay, guys, this was interesting. I'm going to maybe cut, but I'm gonna look through here real quick and find what I think might be the rarest rares of the patch. I'm gonna check them. Some of these I know are just bulk rares, but it's okay. This is the game you play, but there's some very neato things in here. So give me a minute. All right, guys, so I went through it. Um, these cards, which are all actually, you know, interesting, neat cards. I am, I've never seen a, a chunk of them. Some of these I've never really seen before. They're cards that are just kind of, they're bulk. They're pretty much bulk, but whatever. This one's worth maybe like a little under a dollar. Um, these each are worth about, you know, three bucks each, you know, something like that. So for trading purposes or holding on to, I'm happy and I love these. This is cool. This I could trade maybe one day and this is that. It's what it is. This, I mean, this is, this is, yeah, this is the best condition one I have of these. This is like near mint almost. It must have been pack fresh. The other ones I have are not this close to that. And so this is like a $10 card, dude. This is like not a joke. Like these are quite good and quite rare. So I'm going to nicely seal this one up. This one also surprisingly, oh, but see, it's got weird... The printing is off, so that might affect someone's price on it. Look how, like, sh that's actually kind of insane how, th how big a difference that is. But um, this is also still, in general, a really valuable card. And this one also. So, you know, there's about, about 40 bucks worth, which is about what I paid for this one. So I basically got about 40 bucks here in singles. And a couple of our bullshit. So I would say that this one did fulfill its thing. It basically is what it is. And these are some interesting singles that I'm I'm happy to have in my collection for whatever purposes it comes to. Okay then. So let's move on to the next one. Let's move all this stuff off to the side. Got the bulkies. The doopies. The poop bees. Okay, so now we've got this guy right here. 
This is, I bought two of these from this guy. And he said for every two, you get a special bonus. So let's see. I saw this real quick. I saw this real quick. And I think I even Googled it. And I saw it was worth a little nice chunk of change. Now this one is a little bit more intense than, than the last one. Because this guy said that every one of these has a Legends card in it. Which, again, was another thing. I was like, oh, wouldn't it be fun if I pulled a Legends card, Dominary Remastered? I mean, Dominary United pack. But, like, um, you know, that's not going to happen. So now I'm basically getting that now. And this Elvish Reclaimer is a good card. It's, like, a $6 card that is interesting. And maybe I want to use it. I think I, I think I could see myself using this card. It's, like, a really neat, interesting card. So already off to a good start with these. And I have two of them, and I'm very, very excited to go through and see what this stacks up to. So, this is going to be an interesting experience. I think that there is an opportunity for some pretty crazy rares um, in here. So, I don't know where to start. Is this... Should I start with... Uh, this feels like this is the back. This one's really thick. Okay, um... So we have a boom pile. Flip a coin. <laughs> okay. That's kind of fucking funny and weird. I've never seen that one either. We've got now Morag, Fury of Oakum. This is Zendikar Rising or something. Neat. Each creature gets plus, plus one. Oh, it's just a triggering constant combat phases. Whoa. This would be fucking awesome for my samurai deck. So... Look at that. Got a card I never heard of that I love. Oh. <laughs> I have been dying to see you. I've been waiting. This is the card Scott pulled. And I, I, I've i been waiting to pull a version of him. And this is like the best fucking version of him I could pull. Wow. Holy shit, dude. Yoggamoth. No way. Oh my god, he's such a fucking... Mm, I've been a lore freak, guys. You have no idea. It's so exciting for me to have my first Yawgmoth. My friend has had one for so long, and now I fucking have one. And, and, and honestly, what's funny is I could pull him from that other set that came out, Dominaria Remastered. It's, it's this one here. And I don't like the symbol that much. So to see it with the time... Spyro remastered symbol. Yogmoth is such a heat. Such a heat pull. It's gone down, but it still has a lot of value. And it looks fucking phenomenal. This guy took really good care of his cards. Wow. Already, already insane. <laughs> already insane. Okay, what's up next? Oh, okay. It's the crowd land for Simic. I will probably trade that to somebody one day. That's my attitude. Or maybe it'll go in a Wooberg deck. I'll decide later. Not bad, though. That's probably worth a nice chunk, too. Oh, oh, uh-oh. Cryptic Command. I've never had Cryptic Command. Amazing. Equinox. Tap Chanted Land with Equinox. Counter Spell. I guess we should check. This is our Legends card. So, I mean, Legends cards can be worth absolutely nothing or can be worth quite a lot. Here we go. It is not worth anything. But that's really pretty art. It's worth $1.30, so it's not like chump change. Cryptic Command is a, a really cool card I've never had, and now I have one. So that's really cool. I am really feeling this one. This one is, this pack is, is really delivering. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the rest of our rares. Oh, cute. It's a Nissa card. Steward of Elements. All right. I don't like Simic, but cute. I have this card. This one's not worth anything. It is cute art, though. So if it's the bulk rare in here, whatever. I have this card, too, but it's another pretty good one. So whatever. Day of Judgment. Is this like a, a different Wrath of God? That's so interesting. So you could have, huh. I mean, hey, I like it. Cool art, too. Another Wrath of God for my little collection here. It'll go in decks. That's, that's, an, that's probably a decent rare. Ooh, it's one of these things. Oh, wait, so what's in here? Oh, these, oh, 
These are the foils. I see how he did this. So now we're getting to the foil cards. So this is just like the preamble. And the preamble so far, this is technically part of the whole package, but the preamble so far has been solid. These are very cool, but there could be some real heat in here now. There could be something insano in here. So this is one of those dual lands spells from Zendikar, which is fun. Oh, look at that. He, he did them all like that. Whoopsie, I forgot to, I shouldn't have turned it over, but he had me. Whenever you cast an instant. Cool. This is just a, a neat card. It's a fun vibe. I love that art. You know, is what it is. All right, here we go. Here's our next one. Kaya's Onslaught. It is a uncommon rare. These are, I think there is a couple uncommons in here. And a god card. I've never gotten one of these god cards before. They're always like the same themes of indestructible and they're not a creature until you have a high enough devotion. At end step, put a coin counter on a creature. When it dies, return it under my control. Ooh, I like this. Okay, I like this. That's a cool one. Whoa, holy fuck. This is insane that this is happening. I have, this is the fucking, you're not gonna believe me. This is the sliver that I have a foil of and it is a really rare sliver to have a foil of. From my goddamn childhood. Yo, I, I, you guys are not gonna believe me. I just have to bring it out. Whoa, oh no, it's not. Oh, okay, I got it slightly wrong, but you're gonna understand why. I have the spectral sliver. Can I get it close enough to the camera? I have the spectral sliver. You see that right there? Oh, fuck. So my spectral sliver was the one that wasn't worth much. This crypt sliver is like actually worth a lot. This is a really, this was back when foils were not common. This is a crazy foil. Like, wow. Amazing. That is so cool. I'm so stoked about that. That is absolutely for my sliver tech. I can't wait to put that in there. And I think there's just one more. So this has been amazing, guys. This has been a, this has been great. This one has been super satisfying. I'm gonna check it real quick. I'm assuming we met basically value then some, and this is just some really fascinating stuff. So here's our last rare, Foundry Helix. I'm gonna assume it is nothing because it is a common card, but okay. Holy crap, uh, should I should I just move on to the other one? I think I should just move on to the other one and then get the, um, the, the stats out to get this be less uh, broken up. Here's our next one here. So we're gonna see how this one pans out. These are really nice. These are really, really nice. All right, so now we know it's the foils there in the back. And we know he's laid it out for us in a nice way. So first card up, Pelt Collector. Fun, cute. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield or dies, if it's greater than him, that's kind of funny. Yeah, that's a, that's a cute one drop, nothing crazy. I don't know if it's rare, but it's cute. Fuel, Fulminator Mage. That's cute, I guess. It's not really a great card, but not, not something I'd be interested in playing. Decimate, yep, classic sorcery. Not worth too much, but it's a cool, it's a, it's a good, it's a good spell. Cosmos Elixir, I don't know this one. Draw a card if you like to hold greater than you're starting with. Okay, oh. coming up. Oh, and there is the foil, remove soul, and a tap land. Um, let us see if remove soul is a good card from Legends. I don't think it is, but I don't have faith, but it's cool art. Yeah, it's not. It's even worth less than Equinox, but cool. <gasps> it's my girl. My girl I've bought already. I have, so dude, what is my luck? I have like... If I bought a card or it's a card already in my collection, I will pull it again. She is really cute though. So, 
Holy shit. This is a really fucking good rare. Whoa. Oh my god, dude. My Time Spiral Remastered rares are out of fucking control. And it's the retro frame. What the fuck? Tails and... I don't know this one. Sarah Avenger. Yeah, she's all right. And now we're in the foil zone, guys. Are the foils going to give us something good? Are we going to get a Crypt Sliver equivalent? <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Yeah, you got a lot of these, huh? Mikoria card's lame, you know? No. Whoa. Okay, like, what is my... What is going on here? I have... My pages are out right in front of me. I have the Graveborn Muse, too. What is going on? Hold on. I'm not even joking, guys. I have the most bizarre luck in pulling cards I've already gotten. I guess I put the Graveborn Muse away. Here are, uh, here, I'll show you. These are my, these are my demonic consultations. Um, I guess I put the Graveborn Muse away because she's not that rare. But maybe this one is because it was of the era where, um, Foils were just not r common at all, dude. Foils were not common. So that is... There's something really beautiful about how these old foils look, too. So, wow, that's that's great. And then, are these uncommons? Yeah. Well, this has been quite, quite a find. I am going to do some tallying up and get back to you in a minute. Or, well, it'll be like seconds for you. But hang on. Okay, guys, and we are back again. Sorry, the I've lost all my sunlight. So this came out very interesting. I thought this was rare, but I think I actually screwed it up with another... I don't know what the enchantment is. It's another enchantment that's like a similar kind of effect. This retro frame is only worth five bucks. So, but in my like dollar, two dollar pile, we've got Equinox, Day of Judgment, Harvest Season, Decimate Tales, and Cosmos Elixir, and even Snapdex, just barely. So we can call this maybe eight bucks to be fair, maybe nine bucks. Then over here in the like, this one's a big variety. It's like six, six to uh, in like nine dollars range. These are all about that. So that's pretty rad here. That's four of them. These two here were worth about five bucks. These both are worth about 10-ish. It's kind of complicated. This one definitely could go for more than 10 and it's very tradable. This is uh, just cool for me and it's a rare, cool rare. This one is about right now, it used to be almost 30 bucks, but it's gone down to like 17, but just happy to have it. And then this is just an absurd, an absurd foil and it is literally apparently about $30. So all in all, this one came that to a bit over a hundred, which is about what I paid. I paid, I paid like a hundred. So this was like 115. So that's basically the, the gist of it. Um, both of these, this is the, uh, the previous one here. Both of these did come about to basically what they were paid for. So these guys did not lie. Um, I don't know if I got the, I could have obviously gotten even crazier hits, but I gotta say, if, if, if you wanted something like this, at least you know you're, you're meeting a bare minimum, right? When you buy a $200 collector booster box, you could walk away with like 60, 70 bucks. If you buy a $50 pack from this guy on eBay, you're getting at least $50 worth of card, so if not more. So honestly, like I, I would recommend it. I think it was uh, worth it. I feel like more gratifying from this, even though I did get a hilarious amount of rares I've already fucking had. I don't know how I have that luck, but I do. Um, regardless, I think it's, uh, this is not a bad value for um, considering what you get. And then sure, you get some more bulk rares. Like these bulk rares, these two piles. Like, I'm not even mad about them. They're, some of these are are cool, too, on top of it. So, for what it is, this was uh, certainly 
surprisingly fair and um, equitable experience. Your dad approves. All right. Thank you, kids. Bye.